Hi everyone, Sophie Watson here, back with your Cards of the Week, helping corporate and entrepreneurial men and women to get back in control of stress and anxiety and create a life that they love. So um, this week the cards are really interesting. Um, the first card that we've got is the compass, and I'm going to read what it says from the book because um, it's about you really paying attention this week. So it says, you're entering into uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you need to keep your compass pointed true north. Only spirit or your higher power can serve this function. Money, prosperity, prestige, romance and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things that may experience that you may experience along the journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on a starless night when all seems dark. Okay, so this is, you're going to be coming up with things that you maybe have not encountered before and you may be feeling things that you haven't felt before or not felt for a long time. Um, and it can be a little bit confusing because it, it's, it's that sense of feeling lost. And this is what the next card is saying. It's stuck in the mud. And again, I'm going to read this from the book because I feel that these are really important for you this week, um, that you hear exactly what they they can mean for you. Let me just find it in the book. Where's it gone? There it is. Okay. So, <clears throat> stuck in the mud, you'll be invited to stop and savour the wonder of your life. Being stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you into an even muddier place. Now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now, be still and know that spirit has a plan for you. Okay, so it's it's about you not worrying about what's going on, but actually just taking a step back, just chilling out for a little bit, not worrying about these things so much. And it's you just observing and not actually doing stuff so have a look just take a step back look what's going on you it feels like you may be a little bit lost as to what direction you're going in at the moment so just take a step back is there something that's not quite working out for you or do you need to really focus on where you're going and have a think about that what what is maybe holding you back is it a relationship, which is the next card that we've got? Um, so it may not be a personal relationship. So this is the coming together and it was a reverse position. So this may be a relationship that's not beneficial for you. So it could be a working relationship. It could be a personal relationship. It could be friends, whatever. It's it's a case, case of are you giving too much and not receiving anything in return? Or are you constantly trying to... Um, improve that relationship but actually not getting very far with it it could even be the relationship with yourself so are you maybe not connecting with yourself enough and that can be why we're stuck in the mud as well because we've, we've lost who we are so really go internally this week really have a look at yourself and see where you are getting stuck what have you lost what did you maybe have in the past within yourself that you seem to have let go of so this could even be sort of like if you're a parent it's like what things did you enjoy doing but that you can no longer do you've lost part of yourself um, and it's about finding that again this week this is you really connecting back with that and just seeing what you need to need to change and what you need to bring back in from of yourself and then the next card is the protecting treasure which again i'm going to read part of this too you because the last paragraph in this was really interesting so it says your loyalty is an important thing now nurture that which you hold dear this is a good time to strengthen bonds of relationships and ensure that they ensure their integrity 
If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone. You have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. So again, this card we had last week. So this is about you embracing and acknowledging that stuff embracing who you are and actually taking those steps to come back to who you truly are so even if you feel a little bit lost it's about finding who you are again so that you can then move forward okay so i hope this all makes sense this week um it is really really interesting it's it's just to recap it's about you finding out who you are again and letting go of those things that are maybe not so beneficial for you, but acknowledging those relationships that maybe aren't quite right anymore um, or aren't truly balanced with you. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's this week. So again, I'll be back next week with more cards of the week. Um, if this has resonated with you, just comment down below, share it with your friends, tag your friends in if you feel as though they will benefit from this as well. Um, and I will be back again next week, as I said, um, back on Monday with more cards of the week. So have a fab, fab week. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you then.